Controversial revisions to the press arbitration law passed the National Assembly's Judicial Committee early Wednesday, led by the ruling Democratic Party. The bill increases penalties for false reporting and is feared to restrict the role of the press. The DP argues there are no restrictions to critical media reports against agencies of power, but in applying the law, it is believed the innate role of media is very likely to take a hit. The DP insists the revisions do not pose a risk to media's function or monitoring political and economic powers. Let's see if that's true. Under the revised bill, incumbent-ranking public officials are not subject to the punitive damages clause. But it's a different story for former civil servants. Reports on allegations involving retired officials or former presidents can be claimed as false, providing grounds for punitive damages. Reporting on public officials' families is another area of controversy. For instance, in reports on lawmakers' real estate speculation, if the property is under the name of the spouse or other family member, this qualifies for seeking compensation. 사회적으로 엄청난 영향력을 가지고 있는 공직자들 그리고 사회적으로 발언권을 가지고 있는 실질적인 실력자들은 다 빠집니다. 그 사람들은 그냥 일반인 취급받는 거예요. Compensation lawsuits lodged by entities, not individuals, are also possible. For example, when a report alleges suspicions involving a local government head, legal action can be filed by the name of that local authority as a whole rather than the individual. The Korea Foundation for Press Freedom, an association of veteran journalists who fought for freedom of speech during past military regimes, has opposed the bill. Various other media organizations held a press conference Tuesday calling for the bill's passage to be stopped. They said fundamental measures must be drafted through social consensus.